What's up guys and welcome to the channel. My name's Micah and today we're just gonna go over a few tips and techniques to make you absolutely dead accurate with your handgun. Stick around, this should be super quick, fun, and helpful. So without further ado, let's dive right in. But first off, we're going to need a pistol. Okay, that should do just fine. So. Before we get too far, we'll definitely show you that the pistol is clear and safe, nothing's in the magazine, and of course our chamber is clear and safe as well. So safety is first, guys, that's extremely important, and we always wanna be on top of that. So the most common shooter errors that I typically see with handguns are that right-handed shooters are going to shoot low and to the left. Likewise, your left-handed shooters are going to shoot low and to the right. And here are the reasons for that. Typically, you will see low shots because everybody knows that this is a gun and it's gonna go bang, and so everybody has a tendency to want to fight that recoil. So right before they press the trigger, they will dip the nose of that barrel, trying to look like a tough guy, trying to fight that recoil because they know that gun's gonna kick back just a little bit. So that's the reason that we typically see low shots. And then your right-handed shooters typically are going to shoot to the left as well. So the reason for that being is when they are pressing the trigger there, they're not really pulling straight back. They're kind of bringing their finger in and making a fist. So if you just put your finger out on your right hand and then bring it in to make a tight fist, you'll see that your hand almost curls to the left naturally when you do that. And so thus, if you are shooting your gun with that same technique, you will get shots that are to the left. If you try and fight that recoil, you will get shots that are low. But don't worry, we're gonna fix you up right, and by the end of this video, you should be a marksman. So there's a couple different things that we can do to solve all of those problems. So the first one's gonna be our grip on the gun. Second one's gonna be how we're pulling that trigger. Third one's gonna be our breathing. And then the fourth one is just going to be our stance and how we're standing as we fire that firearm. So as far as grips go, you know, if you watch TV movies, you're gonna see everyone hold firearms a different way. Sometimes you see this one-handed stuff, sometimes the gun sideways, sometimes you see the old cup and saucer, sometimes you see a hand behind the other one. There's a lot of different ways and methods to hold a handgun, but the way that I'm gonna show you, I think is gonna make you the most accurate. And this method should apply to your micro compacts, your full sizes, and everything in between. I just have a full size here for demonstration purposes purposes just so you can kind of see that a little bit better. I'm right-handed so if you're left-handed I'm terribly sorry just reverse everything I say here but if you're right-handed with your right hand make a gun okay we're gonna hold a gun but first we're gonna make a gun so I have my index finger out I have my thumb straight up and then I kind of have my other three fingers curled in this is what I want your hand to look like as you are holding the pistol so we will grab our pistol here. I'm gonna have my index finger straight out and I'm gonna have my thumb pointed straight up. So our hand literally looks like we're making a gun as we're holding our pistol here. So as your thumb is up, your index finger is forward, our other three fingers are wrapped around the grip. We're gonna take our left hand here, we're gonna keep all of our four fingers together and we're gonna wrap those four fingers around all of our other fingers there. So we're making a gun with our right hand, other four fingers come over the fingers on your right hand. Now your thumb on your left hand is going to go along the frame here. So obviously the slide is going to be moving back and forth as we fire bullets, so we don't wanna have our thumb on the slide, but we will put it just below that on the frame. And I try and stretch my thumb out as far forward as I comfortably can while still having all my other fingers over the fingers on my right hand. So I'm making a gun here, left hand, fingers over fingers, thumb kind of along the barrel there but down on the frame, and then my right thumb up here, he's just still pointing straight up, but I am going to set that on top of my left thumb there. So if you kind of look at the gun, I've got three fingers that are pretty much pointed straight down the barrel here, okay? So our hands are completely out of the way of the slide as that will move back as we are firing rounds here you know with my thumb stretched all the way forward I have really good control on the end 
that barrel. It's just gonna keep your hand very still. It's gonna let you be very accurate. You know, if I don't have a thumb stretched way up there and I'm just holding my hand over my other fingers, you'll notice that the end of your barrel will kind of get wobbly. It won't stay as still as you want it to. So we'll stretch our thumb out there, right thumb on top of our other thumb, and then I kind of just pinch that frame in there. You know, we want a firm grip on the gun, but not a death grip. Basically, just hold the pistol as firm as you can without shaking. If you're shaking as you're holding the gun, you're probably holding it too firmly. So soften up just a little bit, firm, not a death grip. So now we've got our grip down on the pistol that we want. So as far as other things here, the second one we're gonna go over is our breathing as we're shooting. Now this seems very minor. You wouldn't think that your breathing can affect your accuracy very much, but it actually does significantly. So as you are getting ready to shoot, take a deep breath and let half of it out. And then just pause right there. So we're not exhaling, we're not inhaling. Take a deep breath, let half of it out, pause, and we're gonna wanna shoot right at that point. So you can hold that as long as you need to. Obviously, you don't have to shoot as soon as you get to half of your breath out, but just not inhaling or exhaling is going to steady your hands out a little bit. Try that and then try holding your pistol on target as we breathe in and breathe out and just keep breathing. You will notice that your breaths will affect your arms there and it will affect your accuracy. You can have a steadier hand, obviously, if you're not breathing. So be mindful of your breath when you're trying to be accurate. So in the third thing we'll come to is how we're gonna be pressing the trigger. I like to slip my finger in over the trigger here and then I kind of nestle up the crease in my finger against the edge of the trigger right there. So I kind of know where to stop, you know, the flat part of my fingertip uh, is going to be right across the trigger there. We don't want our finger to change position as we're pulling back the trigger. We just want to keep it in the same spot and then pull that trigger straight back. A good way to practice pulling your trigger straight back and being accurate is to start out pulling that trigger extremely slow. So as our gun is cocked here, I will just pull that trigger back so slow that I don't even know when the gun is going to go off. I will just keep my sights lined up and I will just pull that trigger back so slow that I don't, I don't even know when it's going off. So that's gonna keep you the most accurate. That's also gonna help with your flinches as well. Because you're pressing that trigger so slow, you don't know when it's gonna go off. So it's not gonna give you time to flinch and dip your shot low. Now, not that you always have to pull your trigger slow as molasses to be accurate, but I would practice that and I would start that way of just lining up your sights, make sure your grip is perfect, and then for a magazine or two, just press that trigger so slow you don't even know when it's going off. And do it over and over again until you can be very accurate shooting that way. And then you can speed up your trigger pull. Now as far as people flinching and dipping the nose of their barrel or trying to fight that recoil, there's a few different reasons that I've seen for that. One is going to be a lot of people that I've talked to they're just scared that it might fly out of their hands. So they're trying to fight that recoil to keep the gun in their hands. I think everybody out there has a strong enough grip to keep a nine millimeter in your hands, uh, even shooting it one handed. So I wouldn't be worried that the gun is gonna fly out of your hands. As far as kind of being scared of when the gun goes bang, you have nothing to be scared of. The bullets come out of the barrel and they head the opposite direction from you. The only person that should be scared when this gun fires is the person on the receiving end. Another reason that I typically see low shots and people dipping the barrel is not that they're scared of the recoil, not that they're scared of the noise, scared that it will fly out of their hands. They're literally just trying to look so tough when they shoot that gun, they just don't even want it to flinch. You know, they're just trying to muscle the hell out of it and in exchange, all their shots are low. Now you might look kind of tough by doing that, but you won't look very tough when people look at your target at the range. So we've gone over our grip, 
our breathing, our trigger pull. Now lastly, let's go over our stance. Now I see a lot of different shooting stances out there and everybody thinks they have the best method, but whatever you're used to, whatever you know, completely forget that. Get it out of your head, give yourself a clean slate and pick up what I'm laying down. So as we're shooting, I want your feet as wide as your shoulders here. Maybe just a touch wider, you know? Stance yourself out a little bit. And I don't want one foot in front of the other, nothing like that. Have both feet just side by side, stanced out as wide as your shoulders or maybe just a little bit wider. Now bend your knees just a little bit. You don't have to crouch down by any means, but don't have your knees locked in place so much. It's gonna cause you to be a little bit shaky. So stance your feet out, bend your knees just a little bit and slightly lean forward as you're shooting. That's just gonna help your body, your arms, everything handle that recoil just a little bit better. There's some people who will stand straight up or almost lean back as they're trying to find their sights and then after they shoot the first shot, they have to kind of take a step back and catch themselves. We don't wanna do that. We wanna be able to dump that whole magazine if we have to um, and not let that recoil push us back or get the best of us. So we're stancing our feet out as wide as your shoulders, maybe a touch wider, not having one foot in front of the other, slightly bend your knees there and just lean forward just a little bit there. And that's gonna be your best shooting stance to make you the most accurate with your pistol. So to recap absolutely everything we just went over, our grip, make a gun with your hand that goes around your pistol. With your other hand, fingers over fingers and your thumb on the frame, kind of in line with the barrel. That right thumb or the thumb of your shooter hand, your trigger hand, is going to lay on top of your other thumb. We want a firm grip, not a death grip. As far as our breathing, breathe in one big breath, let some of it out, and then at about halfway, just pause. It'll make your hands still, it'll make your shots accurate. As far as our trigger finger, we want that just flat across the trigger there. We want our finger to kind of stay in the same place on the trigger as we pull it straight back and start by pulling that trigger so slow, you don't even know when the gun's going to go off. That's going to help you with your flinches significantly. And don't try and fight that recoil and look tough. Um, and don't be scared of the gun when it goes off. Remember, the only person who has something to fear is the person on the receiving end of that. Well, and that's probably gonna wrap up the video, guys. Give that stuff a try. Let me know if it helped you out, and uh, let me know in the comments if you were the person who was shooting low and left every time and couldn't figure it out. So I think if you follow all those methods, it's definitely gonna make a marksman out of you. So like the video if this helped you out, subscribe if you want to see more, and until next time, have a great night guys.